Hello everyone! Today, let us continue with the history of the special effects. Enjoy! Another technique of early illusionists was the use of glass sheets as two-way mirrors. In an illusion that came to be known as Pepper's Rules, after John Henry Pepper, a member of the audience was turned into a skeleton and died. This was done by placing a large glass sheet at a 45 degree angle between the audience and the stage and adjusting the lighting so that the audience would either see through the glass to the person or the reflection in the glass of a skeleton of stage. The lighting was faded in and out to make the transformation. This technique was adapted later in early films and a hope of ghost movies were created using two-way mirror techniques. An example of this technique is right below. With a background in mechanical engineering and building equipment, Robert W. Paul was commissioned to copy Thomas Edison's kinetoscope. Although he originally refused, he was convinced to undertake the project because Edison had failed to obtain an international pattern. This gave Paul a legal market for his work. In 1896, he had devised and built a film projector, which he sold in large numbers due to the Lumiere's restricted sales. In 1897, he built Europe's first film studio, complete with trap doors, a hanging, a hanging bridge, and dolly track on which to move his cameras. In 1905, he shot the short film The Motorist, which pioneered several special effects techniques. The film was about a couple that drove so fast that they escaped the earth, gravity, and traveled through the solar system before returning home. Despite his short lived success, he dropped all cinema activities in 1910, sold his studio and burned all of his film stock. Apparently, he longed to return to mechanical invention and building equipment. A scene of the movie is right below. The greatest changes in the revolution of special effects happened in the 20th century with computers. Computers helped revolutionize the world of special effects in movies. Now, with computers, we are able to create scenarios we would never think possible. With the help of computers, we can create people, buildings, animals, monsters, aliens, and many other creations. Our creations in the computers can come out to life with the touch of a button. Special effects have gone to the extreme with the use of computers. We could even build and rethink the Titanic with the use of computers. Some of the early pioneers for special effects or tricks, as they were originally, ca originally called, were also magicians, machinists, inventors, and prop builders. Their multiple talents were brought together to find new and interesting ways to use the motion picture camera. Because the mere sight of moving pictures on the wall seemed like magic to those first audiences, it is not surprising that the first films were magical, whimsical, and absurd. The magicians first viewed the cameras as another tool for their illusions, using the magic of film to enhance their own magic tricks. Audiences quickly caught on to the methods of fake films, however, and filmmakers had to push harder and harder to find amazing visions. For their films. The magicians or filmmakers were shortly made extinct by their own creations. However, as the magic of film had little need for actual illusionist talent, the illusions that required such talent on stage could be produced by anyone on film. Only those magicians that could adapt to the new art form and make the shift into special effects survive. The, the others usually end up, ended up bankrupt with strict corner jobs that utilize none of their talent. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoy it. See you next time.